All right, get away from all the loudness for a second. So we are at the Bowl Expo demo day. Uh, it's basically the first day that we get to see all the new bowling balls that are out on the market coming these next couple months. I see Chuck Gardner throwing a bowling ball, which has been a while since I've seen him throw a ball. So we're gonna get around to it. We're gonna go see what our guys are up to. Okay, what ball did we grab that we forgot to record? Got no razor blaze. All right, we're bowling an executive at the demo day once again. We're gonna see him throw this ball, see what it can do right off the bat. First shot with it. All right, initial reaction, Chris. What do we think about the ball? Chris. Jay. <laughs> Derp. I'm thinking about Chris Wells, sorry. There's too many mentions about Chris this morning. All right, Frankie, what ball do we have today? So here we have the Hammer Scorpion. So the Hammer Scorpion, that's so what we're throwing. The hybrid cover stock, it's got yeah. the LED 2.0 core, which is the purple hammer weight loss, basically. We just modified it with an outer shell. So now I'm just gonna try and throw it. Yeah, what do you think so far? I'm thinking it's kind of, it's below the maximum results I just threw. Yeah. But it's because it's hybrid. Right. Um, I'm not sure how to judge reaction if I get it out a little farther. Right. So I want to see what it does when I do that, if it just jumps or if it stays. But yeah, I'll see how smooth it really is. All right. Well, we'll come back to it. Those are the ones I'm What do we got, Jay? Game Breaker ASIM. Game Breaker ASIM. Yeah. Game Breaker line is a very well known name, yeah. as we all know. An asymmetric Game Breaker. An asymmetrical yeah. now is kind of changing the whole game. So. Like, the GB4 is already a beast, so I kind of expect this to just like be more. exponentially more, especially on that back. Line. Right. I'm just going to stand where I was that hell rage, see what happens. You know, it's a little flat off my hand, but even flat, that ball came back kind of good. Uh, yeah. It didn't roll as well, obviously, because of how flat it was, but like a missed shot and it still came back. Exactly. Like that, that was good. Good. Hi, I'm Mike Dole, Central Region Product Specialist for Brunswick Bowling Products. Here, uh, gonna give you a description of all the new products that we have available at Bowl Expo. So we'll start here first with the Zenith Hybrid. It's just the newest addition uh, to the Zenith line. Uh, it's a perfect complement to the Zenith Solid or the Zenith Pearl when you need something that's right in the middle, that's strong, but gets to the front part of the lane. Dustin promises. Next is the Melee Jab Midnight Blue. It's just the next line um, in the, the Jab line. Same Jab core, stronger pearl cover. Uh, if you want to compare it to the first two, this one is closer to the purple version. Um, just a little bit more down lane than the red one. The new Stellar is our new mid-price point replacing the Hero line. It's got the uh, original Versamax core in it from the C-System line. And then we just put a new updated cover on it with some textured pearl. So it's going to give you that same general shape as a Hero. Uh, same versatile mid-price points point. Let's see if this is the, the right one. Oh, now we have Alex Hamback. Alex, are you going to throw bowling balls today? No, sir. So you didn't throw bowling balls yesterday at the tournament. You're not going to throw bowling balls today. House hack. Alex Hamback, guys. Small. Small. Yeah. Not on ball. Always on 300 pace. Fair enough. Okay. What do we got? Legion Pearl. All yeah. right. Got it on record? Yeah, but I'm recording now. Yes, thank you for reminding me that I forgot to hit the record button. Ipsia logo jersey. Ticket number 541-5747. Drop it. Hellraiser Blaze is the newest addition to the Hellraiser line. Obviously, the Hellraiser Revenge was the original solid version, but this is a big ball. Um, for me, I compare this to something like a Redemption Solid type shape. Game Breaker Isom is the newest addition to the Game Breaker mid-price point. So what we did is we took the original Game Breaker core and we shaved it down to make it asymmetric, which is going to make it give it a little bit intermediate dip. So it's going to flip a little harder than some of the Pearl Game Breakers that tend to be a little bit smoother because of how low RG the core was. 
Now we have the Puma Pearl. You guys right, remember that nameplate from a long time ago? It's just gonna be a new addition to like the Stinger price point. It's a really strong beginner ball. Um, it's gonna be above the Stingers, but not quite a game breaker. Let's try a Puma. I feel like this is gonna be a lot smoother piece. No way it's gonna react anywhere close to what that game breaker ASIM, even though it's flat off my hand or the Hellraiser of Blaze, no way. <laughs> this should be a lot cleaner, a lot smoother. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that ball hooked okay. a lot more than we thought, right? <laughs> uh clean but like <laughs> still came around the corner even on this house shot that I mean, we all found out last night is a lot slicker than we thought oh my gosh last night yeah that i, I can't believe i was just gonna see the pearl playing like a, a two board swing to the nine board right and then i had to switch like an omni hybrid just to even have anything shape exactly so next up is the new informer from radical radical took the the popular incognito form and just put a stronger texture total cover on it that's going to give you a little more shape in the body of the lane versus the regular incognito solid Next up is the Intel Pearl Special Edition. Uh, Tom Doherty won the, the World Series of Bowling and the World Championship with this ball, so Phil brought it back for him. Uh, the main changes to this ball, it's going to add some of that texture pearl, that gold that gold sparkle to it. It should make it pick up a little bit sooner, but it's still going to be that low dip pearl ball that you remember from the Intel Series. What do we have? Intel Special Edition. Intel Special Edition. Than the other ones I've thrown. <laughs> so a lot smoother. Yeah. Definitely uh, gonna have to move a little right with that one. We're trying again. I'm gonna move five right with my feet, five right with my target. Break point's still the same, so let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> Got a little mishap there, buddy? <laughs> Again, last four numbers. It's literally, as you told me, you really seven, like this ball. Six, really like brand it. new Ebonite uh, Puma ball. Oh, Lord. He doesn't like me when I do that. Yeah, exactly. But I still like it. Hey, okay. That was me, not huh? Okay, okay. Now we're into the hammer line. We brought back the Web Pro. Uh, this is the exact same ball that Ebonite released right before the acquisition. It's one of the first dual density cores that we've made into the hammer line. Uh, we changed the color up a little bit just to separate ourselves from the original. Uh, this ball is going to pick up a little bit, a little bit stronger in the mid lane than a melee jab, but still give you that quick okay, shape down the line. Well, yeah, wet pearl now. I'm actually oh. on that one. The ten pin. Repeat of last night. The <laughs> ten pin. <laughs> Scorpion is the newest addition to the, the mid-price point at Hammer. Uh, this is going to replace the Fugitive line. Uh, this is my favorite ball of the newer releases with the exception of the Purple Hammer. Uh, we put the Dark Legend solid cover on it and we put a, uh, a higher RG core in inside. So for a mid-price solid, it actually gets through the front, but it's got a super strong cover on it. So if you want something in that price point that's really strong, the Scorpion is going to be your ball. Sweet. Thanks, Mike. No problem, man. Appreciate it. So we are leaving Executive Bowl now. Uh, it's about four o'clock. Uh, the demo ends in about an hour. We are gonna go ahead and head to the hotel, get some rest, and uh, see what we can get into. So now it's Bugsy and them that were honky at me. So Bugsy, hi. Hey, buddy. He's not. He's not even gonna wrinkle the look over. Here. Dustin, so you're the DD tonight? Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, well, I get to be intoxicated today. I'm pretty sure you're gonna edit this out, right? But, storm party, by the way. We made it to the Gout House. Oh, yep. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me. We're here for the storm party? Third floor. Third floor? That was the storm party. I didn't actually record anything inside the storm party. I didn't want to be disrespectful to anybody. Where did we park the car? We are going to Cigar Bar now where the rest of the McCorby's team is at to hang out and have a good time. So we will see you guys shortly. All right, so tomorrow is trade show day. Biggest, biggest day of the week, realistically. That's where all the industry members are gonna be there from bowling center proprietors to pro shop guys. But thank you guys for watching so much. Appreciate you guys as always. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Something that you would like to see out of this week. Again, it's all about making you guys 
happy with what's coming out of this channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.